<clears throat> I'm going to reload another second uh, CO2 cartridge. I'm going to do another, I guess, three magazines because the previous one only did 13 shots and then it ran out of air. I'll try to do 15 with another um, CO2 cartridge, but uh, we'll just see what happens. So this is the Salt Supply S2 uh, T4E rubber balls. And uh, yeah, one CO2 cartridge. So I'll see how many I get. It'll, it'll probably be 13 shots again. Ready to go. So that was the 10th uh, shot, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, same CO2 cartridge, I'll, I'd be surprised if I get 15, I think I usually get 12 to 14 shots. Yep, 14 shots. So there's one in there right now. It's on safety. Uh, one of the, like, I think the 13th or 14th shot hit the top corner of this box and it actually pierced through. Um, and you can see the light going through it right there. And that ball is over here. Just had a rainstorm over here, so um, I wanted to do this earlier, but <clears throat> it was too wet outside and that ball was over here somewhere yeah I'll look for it later anyway yeah uh, I usually get 12 to 14 shots I guess off of one co2 cartridge with the uh, salt supply s2 um, and I typically use like either the 3.6 gram nylon Jawbreaker riot balls or these T4E rubber balls just because they're cheap. Like, I don't know, they're like 20 cents each. Something like that because you can get 100 of them for about 20 bucks. <clears throat> and uh, I just, oh, there's one right there. I just bought uh, some 11 gram riot balls. They have a steel core with rubber um, outside. I did see that a lot of people reviewed them, said they're kind of off balance. Um, so I'll see how they go. Um, and I'll weigh them too, just to make sure that they are actually 11 grams. Or Some of these manufacturers, like they say they're 3.6 or 7.2 or something, but then they end up being like 7.1 grams or just slightly off from whatever they advertise, which isn't terrible, but um, there's always going to be differences in manufacturing processes and like lot numbers and just a batch of whatever ammo you're using. It might end up being slightly heavier or slightly lighter than however it's advertised as. Um, I'll probably make a video later of a very, very accurate um, ammo uh, weights. Um, I, I do have a like a bore checker, a little... Uh, paintball gauge I think these are like 682 
Yeah, it's going through the 682 pretty good. Uh, 679, it kind of goes through. I do have to press it. It is rubber, so it has a little bit of give, but these are kind of hard. And yeah, 684 it just goes through really easily. But anyway, guys, I'll, I'll make another video at some point. It's not going to be raining around over here this week at all, so I'm sure I'll, I'll post something in a couple days. But I'm just waiting for those uh, 11 gram riot balls. And uh, I think that's it for this video.